harkens back to kind of Japanese horror that was really popular in like the early 2000s. Is that a subgenre that really interests you personally? I, I didn't know too much about it. I know that uh, a character in the film, uh, Michi, he's a Japanese actor. This is his first English-speaking American film. He's done maybe thir like 20, 30 films all in Japan. And he kind of, he taught me a lot about it, but I, I hadn't, you know, it wasn't like a, a genre that I was honed in on. Mm -hmm. um, but, it, you know, I, I had a, I had a, an amazing experience, an amazing time working on it. Do you get excited about horror movies in general, or what appealed to you in this one? Uh, more the, you know, the script. Uh, it was more of a, I think, more of a psychological thriller, and just the idea that uh, to keep people guessing and to keep people thinking and to engage an audience in, in that aspect. And, and even after you, you watch it to, to have a conversation, hopefully people are, I don't know, talking about it on the car ride home or what have you. But, you know, I grew up with Amityville Horror, The, the Shining, and Friday the 13th, and mm -hmm. Halloween, those type of films uh, that, that used to just creep you out, <laughs> creep you out. Yeah. Um, so that was more my, my, my experience with the, the genre. Have you ever been to the actual forest? I know you guys shot in Serbia. No, uh, Natalie, uh, Natalie Dormer, uh, well, my co-star, the, you know, the, the lead, she shot, I think, three weeks or a few weeks in Tokyo, and I think she made it out there. So she made it out to the actual uh, site and forest. But, but like you said, we did Serbia for Japan. Uh, I would have liked to, but I, I didn't make it out there, no. Yeah, so shooting in Serbia, though, were there ever any moments on set that felt spooky? Uh, we had, I think there was one, there, there was a night where everything, all we lost all electric. So we were shooting off of, uh, you know, some country road in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of desolate, and the lights go out. So you have crew members and people screaming uh, a quarter mile into the, in the forest, in the, in the woods in the middle of nowhere, and that got... Well, it's just, yeah, it got a little like creepy. Yeah, 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 sure. What's your favorite horror movie? Um, probably The Shining, I guess, if I had to say. I remember as a kid watching it and, and, uh, and, that, and not really being able to sleep that night. <laughs> it, it, really it really freaked me out. Sure. How long before you end up on American Horror Story? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I mean, like, I feel like you have an in, right? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I guess if, if the if Chicago Fire lets up anytime soon, I don't know if it is. That's true. Yeah, we've been lucky enough to be really busy, so I don't know. What do you know. have coming up on Chicago Fire? Uh, a bunch of crossovers. Uh, one of the you know uh, David Eigenberg plays Herman. He just gets he just got stabbed. Uh, that takes him to Chicago Med. The the cops from Chicago PD get on it, so it's kind of a big crossover event where you have all three shows. Uh, all three casts interacting, and that that, sh that should be exciting for the fans. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Um, my final question just is about, so in this film, you play a character that we keep going back and forth on whether we can trust. What was that like for you to tr create that? It was, I had a, I had a blast. I, I met, after reading the script, I met with Jason Sada, the director, and we talked over, I don't know, I, I just, my interpretation of the character and the arc, and I said, well, this could be interesting. This could be really interesting to play with. Uh, we could do this here. We could tone this down here. And mm -hmm. it, it just, and that translated to, to the set. So once we started working together, and, and again, uh, Natalie was really great to work with. We, we kind of, you know, and we had time. The TV moves, you know, yeah. exceptionally quick. And film, there's, you have a little bit more time to play. Uh, so getting to talk with Jason, getting to talk with Natalie, we started going over just uh, both of our both of our stuff, both of our story and character arcs. So uh, you know, hats off to Jason, hats off to Natalie. I, I don't know that we, you know, that the the end product is the same without the two of those people. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I loved it. I had a great time.